हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू डूइंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग ग्रेट सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू जस्ट हैव सिक्सटी डेज यू जस्ट हैव टू मंथ्स फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम फॉर योर सी बी एस सी ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम सो आई हैव कम अप विद सिक्सटी डेज प्लान टू स्कोर नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंटेज एंड एबो इन बायोलॉजी ऑफ योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड बोर्ड्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो i have uh, i'm i'm going to explain you step wise in these 60 days what exactly you have to do to score 95 percentage and above so the very first step that you have to do is you have to do revision so this is the time to uh, you know revise it's not the time to start any new chapter right i'm very sure um, you might not be you might not have done 100 percentage completion of your syllabus some of you right you would be completing at least you would have completed at least 50 percentage of your syllabus right so now it's time to complete the rest of it and you have to revise it's a revision time but how you have to revise so you are actually privileged you are very lucky because you have lot of one shot videos throughout internet but specifically in our pw english channel as well you have got one shot videos so use this one shot videos to revise as quick as possible yes also we have got an amazing opportunity for you that is yes we have a board booster batch uh, which has been uh, launched very recently so the price is just 699 right so what exactly we are going to do in this board booster batch is in very few classes we will be co covering entire syllabus of your cbsc 12 board that is pcmb and we will also give you a lot of important questions previous year questions and specifically when i'm talking about biology i will be teaching you zoology i will be telling you how to draw diagrams and what are the important uh, questions or what are the important concepts that you have to study first right so do enroll to this particular batch Uh, CBSC twelfth board booster, twenty twenty four, right? And I have to tell you, um, some of the uh, chapters you might not be able to study from the beginning. Like you would have studied already, but I'm very sure you would be feeling like I haven't studied it yet because that's what happens. Uh, you know, uh, we say this knowledge is highly volatile, right? So you. keep forgetting things so what you have to do if you have certain chapters where you uh, you know can you where you would have forgotten uh, certain chapters specifically when it comes to the subjects like physics chemistry and maths learn formulas and when it comes to biology use mind maps to study such chapters so if you would have completely forgotten everything you can't revise in such cases you can use the uh, you know just mind maps and these mind maps are freely available all over internet right all you have to do a right search that's it and learn formulas when it comes to pcm right and i have to tell you something very important so there are some five chapters in biology which is high weighted chapter so that chapters you have to study first i'm very sure you're curious to know these five important chapters top five most important chapters that you have to first study because more questions will be coming from this chapter so let me list one by one for you so one is molecular basis of inheritance molecular basis of inheritance high weighted chapter and the next chapter is human health and disease human health and disease and then you have human reproduction and the next chapter is sexual reproduction in flowering plants and the last important chapter is principle of inheritance and variation so these chapters you have to first study and finish off principle of inheritance and variation so these chapters you have to first study 
because this is these are the high weighted chapters so questions uh, maximum questions will be coming from these five top five chapters so this you have to first study and finish off and then go to the rest of the 12 standard biology chapters right and what we need to do next after studying important chapters after revising and if if it is not possible to revise at all at least the mind maps and formulas you would be studying what you have to do next so the next step you have to do is past five year question papers you have to solve if in case you are not able to solve it's okay learn the solution Lo learn those diagrams uh, from which the questions have come from right so past five year question papers and sample papers you have to first study and once this is done you can go with the even previous to five years so basically past five previous year question papers it's better to solve and keep better to learn and keep such solutions right and after which uh, or during which uh, you know if you consider uh, previous years not all the previous year questions ha question papers have got mcqs right so nowadays mcqs are being asked assertion assertion and reasoning type of questions are also uh, are been asked so it's important to solve such questions right so have a practice books Specific specifically, which will be including case study questions, MCQs, including assertion and reasoning type of a question. So those type of questions you have to cover. Case study questions when it comes to MCQs, assertion and reasoning type of a question. So for which you can use MTG at your fingertips. Um, actually, we are uh, we suggest students who are preparing for NEET exam to use these books. But uh, similar questions can also come from uh, come for your CBSC 12 boards biology, right? So it's better to uh, take such books like MTG at your fingertips, right? Yes. So that is the second step, and the third step. So what needs to be done next? So after revision, you will be solving questions. Now you also have to keep revising the, uh, you know, figures, right? So when I say in these 60 days, you have to revise. Yes, you have to, uh, at least in alternative days, you have to revise, right? Similarly, almost every day or at least alternative days, you have to practice these figures that is uh, important figures that you have in your uh, textbooks when it comes to biology uh, in if you consider in human reproduction chapter uh, the male reproductive system female reproductive system mammary gland so almost all the figures that has been given uh, in ncrt biology you have to practice it because questions can any question can be asked regarding that or they can ask you to draw those diagrams right so practice at least in alternative days because you also have to study other subjects so alternative days or uh, alternative day days in, in the sense once in two days at least you have to keep practicing the diagrams right but even after practicing on that d day on that exam day there is chance of forgetting right so that is why that is why what you have to do is while you're drawing uh, you have to you know read it loud like when you are drawing the uh, let's say human male productive system you have to uh, say first let's start with penis penis diagram and then urethra so you know uh, if possible if you have ipad or something uh, there is a uh, th there is one uh, option where you can draw and the audio note can also be recorded at the same time so you can opt for that option otherwise you can take the video of you drawing okay along with your audio notes or alone with audio notes so somehow make sure that uh, the way you have practiced uh, the you know diagram so that same way you have to pr you know draw the diagram on that exam day as well because that's how it is going to be uh, you know easier for you as well uh, that so that you won't be forgetting it right so practice diagrams practice figures every day if not at least alternative days fine next and the last step that is little psychological uh, you know way of uh, making all the things possible that is have an affirmation so if you want to score more in biology for in your cbsc 12 boards 
write certain affirmations in your notebook or maybe in the uh, on the wall or on your table so affirmation should be like this i will score 100 out of 100 in biology cbse 12 boards i have good memory power i am confident i won't forget any things that i have studied i study every day so such affirmations are important um you know that is how psychologically you are training yourself to study every day to score more in the subject biology so that is the last step okay but even though these are the step 1 step 2 step 3 all of these steps should be done simultaneously along with the revision you will also uh, you know have this affirmation with you you will keep reading this right so that is how you can score more you can score 95 percentage and above in biology subject in these two months that is in this 60 days right so that's all for today my dear students i hope uh, you like the video so let's meet in the next video until then bye